Uh, good morning, good morning, good morning, Boradar. Farmer Ben here once again on Puzzle Combat, and this time I am doing a uh, the new rare quest that is out, Defense Alert, which is the equivalent of uh, Far Home Pass for EMP players. Uh, before I get too far into this, may I remind everyone uh, to like and subscribe and do all those things that YouTube would do love to talk about. Uh, anyway, so very hard. Now this may be beyond my ability levels. Um, Actually, before I even go into this, one of the things I'm doing, I've, I've managed, uh, uh, eventually, uh, finally, as it were, I've managed to ascend out of the way, uh, one of my four-star heroes uh, by having enough crowbars and I can't remember which one it was, whichever the blue heroes need. Uh, I want to say cameras, but I'm not sure if that's right. Whichever it was, I got enough of them to ascend Hollow Point. Now, Hollow Point, um, he's not the greatest of heroes. He's a sort of... He's got fast mana, which is quite good for a hit-all hero. He's uh, reasonably good, but he was the only blue that I had at the time. I've since picked up another uh, blue four-star. Uh, I may as well get him as ready for this as I can. Uh, no, I don't need... I'm keeping my Victorias. I've got a feeling they're going to come in useful. Um, there we are. So Hollow Point now is uh, level 56. Give him a little bit more power. I did pick up... Uh, Typically, just after I got Hollow Point, I picked up Kayla. I probably would have gone with Kayla over Hollow Point because she is a sniper, and I generally like snipers. And she slows down charge regeneration, which is quite good. Um, so yeah, quite like uh, quite like that. But there we go. Uh, never mind. You can't always. Uh, you some, sometimes I find in the, in this game and Empires and Puzzles, the uh, the danger is if you try and hang on, it just counts against you. You just take too long, basically. Um, so I'm going down the art the sort of uh, heavy artillery approach. Now I'm going to swap Aiko for uh, Rana, because I think Rana is going to be very useful. As you can see, like Dougal, who's a bit of a essential one, really. You know, he's my healer and uh, general doer. Rana and Dougal will hopefully keep each other alive to a fair extent. Um, now I am going with battle items, so I am going to take my uh, new, where are they? Bum, 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 shot grenades. Uh, shock grenades are getting. Oh, oh no. Did I get that right? Shock grenades are going to replace my hand grenades. They're more powerful and do. Uh, I can't remember if they reduce charge or what they do. I, I would always sort of say try not to neglect your um, forge or I can't think what they're calling it. Found, no, it's not foundry. Where workshop? Workshop, I think it is. Uh, don't neglect those. It's worth having powerful things. I'm also taking uh, flashbangs, which I'll probably use fairly regularly, and uh, a few minor mana potions, uh, minus charge drinks. Sorry. So uh, generally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lob in a flashbang at the start, just to try and get the enemy to miss me. Which this is just like I did there, because they will doubtless be fairly powerful. Um, even the mobs on this kind of this kind of stage. Uh, ba -ba -bum, boom, boom, boom. So yeah, a couple of misses there have really sort of just helped me get some of my mana charging. Um, do, 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 do. If I can, I'm going to want to get... Ooh, there's some bad stuff going down here. I'm going to get uh, Rana charged. Now she will heal, luckily she will heal Dougal and um, Lottie. Lotta, Lot. Uh, keep them alive as well, which is quite handy. Uh, I've sort of carefully put her by Dougal because I think the two of them will help keep each other alive. Little bit concerned, obviously, at the moment about um, Lot, who is getting pretty weak. Don't really want him to die just yet. I mean, he may get killed in the end, but try and keep him alive for now. So just put some armor up on him there. Uh, I'm not going to rush to kill this guy. Um, this is sort of going to be the, the getting charge up together and everything else because I can ghost lots of tiles. Hopefully build up my armor levels. Um, so building up armor and sort of armor stacking is kind of relatively key I, to, uh, to sort of boost in your heroes and what have you. Um, so I'll just try and show you how I mean by that in just a second. So, uh, if I click on Dougal at the moment, you'll see he has got, where are we, ba -ba 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 -ba. strength, uh, ba -ba charge, and where's his armor? Where did it say his armor rating? I don't know. Hmm. Uh, health, 
Oh, let me see. I'm sure there's a way to show you that show their armour is. Oh, armour, naught of 95 there. Why is it only showing it on her? Oh, 190 of 190. There we go. Sorry. I just couldn't I couldn't see it. So it, says, it just says it underneath all the uh, the main stats. It says armour 190 out of 190. If I activate him again, you'll see that he now has armour 285 out of 285. Um, so by just sort of keeping building up his armour, I can really boost up the uh, the whole team. So here's Dougal's armor going off again. If I click on him now, you'll see it's 380 out of 380. So he's, his uh, general sort of health is getting better and better and better. Uh, it's a bit of a, obviously a bit of a slow process, but it uh, means I can just carry on getting him ready. The rest of my heroes are ready anyway. I might uh, carry on through this wave in a minute. So obviously I can just kill this guy more or less when I want. Um, I might just see if I can get Dougal go off one more time max out as much armor as I can and on we go uh, bum, 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 bum. boom so next wave um, probably not I'm probably gonna save the flashbang for now uh, shotgun barrage to start then hollow points uh, attack then and then lastly uh, get uh, what's her name ready uh, Rana so that everything is reflected she also helps increase the health uh, you can see quite how tough the opponents are, considering how much sort of firepower I just dumped on them, and they're still, you know, they're still a, a all alive and b not that unhealthy. Um, the perfect repost thing is going to be really useful. Um, counter attack, I think it's called in this game, rather than perfect repost, but it's the same thing. Uh, it just means that the enemies will, who are very powerful, can sort of he safely hurt themselves. Uh, I'm going to start again now, I wanted to think about cut, uh, armor stacking. Um, it's going to be quite important, don't necessarily want to rush this guy. Uh, Rana can go off because I do want to keep her alive. Dougal then will hopefully get some charge. There we are, Dougal charged. Um, let's keep on getting my blues charged up. Just ignoring that guy up there at the minute. There we are, do we can go off again. So the armor stacking going on here. One thing you can see is quite how quickly the armor does go down again, which is quite scary. Um, the armor stacked. Boom, 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 boom. So, yeah, uh, plenty of armor stacking means everybody's staying alive for a lot longer. Let's see, I don't know if this will finish him off, not quite. Uh, let me see if I can get Dougal one more time. Yeah, there we go, one more Dougal, because I don't want to be wait, taking forever. You get to a point, you just get, get want to move on. Uh, that can go off, that can go off, that can go off. And there we go, let's trigger that purple five in a row. The guy in the middle is taking quite a, quite a, uh, a pounding, the drone. There we are, one down. Gives me a bit of space to start ghosting tiles as well, which is always good. Ghosting tiles is the term, just, just firing tiles into space. You get more mana from ghosted tiles, um, which means your heroes get their sort of charge ready quicker. Uh, again, I'm just going to slow it down here, just get some charge going on. I won't take too long on this one, simply because I have already... Um, you know, this wave has gone pretty quick, um, so I'm not too worried at the moment. Going to move on through this one fairly fast. Uh, not going to just keep hanging around and charging things up. Uh, although, obviously, I will get a reasonable amount of sort of charge, uh, armor charged back up. Not quite sure what my armor ratings are. Let's have a look. Uh, Victoria is 570 out of 570. She seems to be the one who nobody's hitting for some reason, which is which is jolly good for her. Not so good for anybody else. Um, so my armor, as you can see, is sort of getting fairly hefty. Uh, it's not. It's it gets knocked down fairly quickly as well, as you can see by what looking at a lot. I mean, he's uh, his armor, her armor. I'm never sure if it's a boy or girl. Um, has gone up and down quite a bit. Uh, let's fire off this one, and then I will do this. This will trigger a little combo. Um, clear a bit of the screen. Yellow tiles obviously don't do anything um, in this because I haven't taken any yellow heroes. Uh, I 
normally with the rare events you know which color you want to color stack i, I haven't played this one before so i don't know what color i was going to be facing um so i haven't really color stacked here which is why my sort of overall tile damage is going to be lower than i would like but never mind can't have it all um so we're going to fire off the heroes again same kind of order want to do lot first because of the defense down thing uh, and then everyone else oh i didn't uh, manage to get victoria to attack them to go off let's clear the screen of these yellows um boom lots of nice little combos rolling in here tile damage i actually want too bad there the tile damage this should so a bit of screens cleared. Now the next wave will be the boss wave, so I'm going to want to make sure uh, armor is as maxed out as it can be and everybody's got their attacks ready, so I don't want to do this too quick. Armor again. Keep the health going. Not going to use lock because this guy's going to die fairly soon anyway. Um, if I can, I want to just boost my armor up. Just a bit tricky because it's sort of at the stage at the moment where he could easily just get killed by mistake. So, um, you know, like I say, you don't want to be too fast and powerful sometimes. <laughs> you want to slow it down uh, and just take the time to rebuild my armor. Uh, I could do with, I reckon, one or two more if I can get blues ready without actually uh, finishing, finishing him off. Um, there we go, armor's going off again. As you can see all my heroes have got full health, which is good. Armor is uh, 1,045, it's up to for um, Victoria there, who, as I say, for some reason seems to be the one nobody's shooting. Don't know why. Um, I'm looking, I'm still trying not to, to finish this guy off yet, because I know the bosses are going to be the ones where I really need to have uh, the best armor I can get. Um... And ooh, I thought that would finish him. Let's do this last move. I think this will probably finish him now. Yep, there we go. He's dead. Didn't really expect him to stay alive. And here are the bosses. So the bosses are in these two, what look, look to me like sort of World War II type tanks. They look a bit dated. But either way, I'm pretty sure they're going to be extremely dangerous. So I will fire off. Uh, first, I will do my defense down with uh, Lot. Then I will do my rebound, although it didn't matter the order there. Hollow point will go off then, boom, 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 and Victoria will open up with the six shooter. Now, all of them have got fairly maxed out armor, but I'm just going to chuck in a flashbang, which will reduce their accuracy, a flame bomb, which does damage over time, and a uh, shock grenade, uh, which also does reduced defense. And I think it's possibly more of reduced defense than Lot does, but I'm not sure. Then I'll blow up the green grenade, boom. So you can see my tiles are not exactly doing very much to them, which isn't isn't really a surprise. Luckily, though, it did get Victoria charged again, so she can go off again. So one of the tanks now is out of armor, which is good. Two of the right, they're both now just down onto their main health. Um, bum bum bum! Fire these red tiles at them. So I'm trying to avoid hitting them with too many yellow tiles, but not that I can necessarily do that. You'll see that the riposte there did quite a chunk of damage. Health is still on full for Dougal because of how much armour he had, otherwise he would probably not be doing so well. Uh, all the armour now is off of lot, so you can see quite how much damage they did. All of my uh, grenade attacks have now run out, so I'm going to throw them in again. So this is why I say it's quite important not to neglect your uh, battle item construction, because battle items are cheap, really. Because uh, you can get, they are all made from farmable materials. Uh, the blue tiles should do slightly more damage than average, simply because they are, because uh, I do have two blue heroes. Victoria, that now you can see again, like she had 1,045 armor. She now down to 368, but she's still very much alive, which is, uh, which is a good thing. And then we are going in with, uh, what's his face? Dougal gets to recharge their armor, which is good. Uh, my armor reducing one has run out, so I'm going to throw in another one of them. So, just sort of, if I throw them all in at once, I'm reducing the effectiveness of the attack. So, it makes sense to sort of let them go in uh, piecemeal, as it were. Now, both tanks are about to go off. I'm just going to check how long my perfect riposte is left 110% of received damage. See, I don't want to accidentally have perfect riposte run out when their big attacks are about to go off because i'd like them to at least 
do most of that damage back to themselves. So I'm just going to recharge her attack there. And here they go. Cannon blast. Boom. That will do quite a tank of, chunk of damage to themselves. Boom. And you can see now that my heroes are beginning to run out of armor and everything else. Uh, going to ch chuck in a flashbang. Going to chuck in a flame bomb. Keep them burning. The armor is already low, so I'm not going to redo the armor one at the moment. Uh, let's drop this in. Boom. So, yeah, you can see quite how much damage their attacks do when they uh, when they hit and they've got no armor. Now, only uh, Hollow Point is still armored. Um, oh, sorry, Lot has got some as well. I didn't realize that. Okay, uh, I have their shields are back up a bit or back to normal. They're not, not necessarily up, but they're back to normal. So I'm putting the defense down in. Going to fire off Hollow Point again. Boom, 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 boom. First tank is down. Still have all my heroes, which I'm not pleased about. Uh, may as well, a lot is going to go off. Now, Victoria's attack is very, very good when she does it over and over again. Boom, 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 boom. Again, I'm going to want. Um, Rana to have her perfect repost um, or counter attack, I think it's called in this game, ready. Um, so if the tank, as you can see, is special is ready, it will hit Rana or may hit Rana, or it's hit Dougal, and the counter attack has killed itself, which is you know brilliant. Loads of damage done there on the counter attack. Still even had some battle items left. So there we go. No heroes dead, all my battle items left, and I get my wrist computer and my aerospace materials. The wrist computer is really what you, you really should try and complete uh, the rare quests. It's always worth completing the rare quests because the materials you get from them uh, are not farmable. They're, they're ones that you really, really want to get hold of. So, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. That was a good, uh, a good result. Um, I hope there was some useful advice in there for people. Uh, the main ones being, right, uh, to stack your armour. So get use use waves to stack your armor. Don't neglect your craft workshop um, because things like those shock grenades were really really useful there. Uh, another one I would potentially consider. I haven't got it yet. You've got the tactical reset, which is uh, like the tornado from uh, Empires and Puzzles, which just resets the screen, and. Um, the Chrono Blaster, which again could be quite useful, is a bit like the Time Stop, not as good as the Time Stop. Um, that is one I would consider using. The rest of them, like Hypercharge Drinks, Experimental Antidotes, there's a few. Uh, a lot of them I still need to research, but I have researched a couple of them at least. So it remains for me to say, may death come swiftly for your en to your enemies. Uh, mate, thank you very much for watching. As ever, it has been deeply, deeply emotional. This is Farmer Ben saying, hope I was some help. Take care of yourselves. Peace out. Oh, that's not what I want to click on. Uh, can I get it? Yeah. Peace out. Goodbye.